Hey, got microwave burritos at the house. You know, I'm not a guy that can eat microwave burritos on a daily basis. No? I'm fucking with you. I totally am. <laughs> El Monterey. Yep, these are in fact El Monte's. I like their uh, the bean and cheese is my go-to. Yep, I got the bigger ones, the steak and the steak and cheese ones, the larger sized uh, Costco ones, not oh, the yeah, yeah, yeah. not the Safeway ones. The the teen cheese. Yeah, not a bag of unwrapped burritos. These are all individually wrapped. Ooh, fancy. That's right. You know, I'm a I'm a some might say I'm a burrito aficionado. <laughs> <laughs> Pinky out. <laughs> Wrapped around the burrito. Bit of a gourmand. Bit of a gourmand. A burrito gourmand. No, whatever. You, you were a burrito connoisseur? No, I would not. There's nothing worse than the, the people that... Uh, uh, Burrito-centric individuals irk me. Uh, oh, you gotta go try this burrito, man. Like, like that's... I don't know. I don't mind that if someone's going to turn me on to a good burrito. Yeah, I, mean, I don't mind being turned on to a good burrito. Yeah, I definitely, and, and you know, not. there's places in the city where it's like, nah, I don't like their burritos. I'm not going to go to that burrito place anymore. Like, Gordo's? Fuck that. Here's a good question. Uh, any love for Tina's, Tina's burritos? No, not a lot. Not much. I've got a day job, so, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, Tina's, yeah, Tina's. Tina's is a little gnarly. Yeah, it's not like I'm not just like I will eat any kind of burrito. I, I, but I'm also not picky. Yeah. Uh, like, there is a time and a place for your low-end microwave burrito. Yes, there is. And there are certain ways to do it right. Uh, but I also appreciate, you know, the the mission-style, big thick burrito. Yes. I yeah. Have I have my day that I. I can also discern between, all right, these guys do it better than these other guys. For me, it's, it's a mere ingredients thing. It's like, uh, that's why I don't eat Chipotle, because the rice is crappy. But I get such little, uh, I, I don't get stuff on burritos, typically, yeah. so the difference between locations is really just a size difference more than anything else. Ah, you know, whatever, that, that's not true. I mean, you know, quality of beans... There's, a, there's quality to every ingredient. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's quality of the preparation, and even just, like, the, the precision with which my burrito gets rolled. Uh-huh. Like, I don't... It's a you, like a, you like a tight burrito. I like a tight burrito. I, like it when I know that about you. I like, I like it when you get get to the point where you can eat it down to just, like, the little knot at the bottom, and it doesn't just dis disintegrate. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Like, that's, that's key. I like... Burrito integrity is important to me. Because I like a burrito that I can stand up on a table. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. Like a nice solid flat bottom, good weight distribution so it's not too top heavy. Right. Good cylindrical shape so that it's not weirdly off balance and it's not prone to rocking or anything. So construction of a burrito is important to me. Also, I, and, you know, I, I can go either way, but uh, I tend to prefer the places that, uh, that grill the outside of the burrito. Or they, or they, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, like, they, they are heating up the tortilla. Char it a little bit. Yeah, it's like you get some places where they steam the tortilla and that's how they heat it up. Uh -huh. That's fine. That's you know, I'll, yeah. I'll take those burritos. But I like it when they when they heat up the tortilla on the grill, maybe throw some cheese onto that initially so that you get a little like pre melting action. Uh huh. That stuff. I had someone ask me recently, what do you uh, did you guys like the California burrito? I said, Around here, kid, we just call that a burrito. That's just how they're done. In other places do they make California burritos? Yes, so. What? Well, I don't even know what that would be. That's big, thick burritos that we know as burritos. The rest of the the rest of the country just has Taco Bell, man. That's the point of reference. They yeah, have, I guess so. They have Tina's and El Monterey. Yeah, I guess so. That's, that's why the the dream of the uh the, the burrito pipeline across America right exists. That's why I want is it, Steam to launch its burrito delivery system. Is it the uh, Alameda Weehawken yeah. tunnel? Yes, I believe so. In San Diego, it's a burrito with french fries inside, says Shady 3011. Dude! Pack your bags, Jeff! We're going to San D! We're going to the Oakland airport. AJ in the morning! Here we come! <laughs> I don't think that's on anymore. No, it is! Oh, really? AJ is conti he continues to be on the air. 
can't be in stopped. San Diego. He can't be stopped. Shit, man, I was. And all I bet he would know where to find a good burrito. He, he actually he had opened a restaurant at one point down there. He was selling hamburgers real late. He decided he wanted to open a place that would open when the bars closed. Yeah. So he was like doing hamburgers. Him and his brother were selling hamburgers or something. Nice. Kind of on the side. I was all pumped and primed to get into our uh, our promotional craft products. Uh huh. But all this burrito talk's got me feeling some El Soyo. Yeah. This battery's gonna die any minute now. I think next time this next time this video stream goes down, it might be down for the count. Maybe. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. You'll never know. Um. I've not been to the El Pollo Loco. Uh, no. What is it? Uh, El Solo, El Pollo. Solo Pollo. Man, if there's no Pollo Loco around here, though, how about that? Huh? I'd be good too. I I think I like. Solo Pollo better. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's, I mean, it's a, you know, it's a real burrito place versus a fast food burrito place. But, uh, I do like a, a Pollo Loco. They threw a green burrito into the Carl's Jr. in Runner Park. Yeah, but that's too far. Yeah. I wish there was a Carl's Jr. in, uh, in Petaluma. Also. I'm not, I, you know, I'm not a real big Carl's Jr. kind of guy. A lot of their stuff is, is excessive, but there's a few key things they do that I enjoy. I like the Chris Cut Fries. Chris Cut Fries go. I like the Chris Cut Fries. With those, those a little goes a long way, I feel. Sure. I almost feel like a full order of those is a little too much. Hey, you get a small. 